Dead Sled Brand Clothing is having a hearse build competition for die-cast cars. So that put hearses on my mind. Although I'm not entering that build, I have a 1938 Cadillac panel car in 143rd scale that I want to chop up a little bit, but time got away from me. So uh, hopefully I'll have that done maybe by Halloween. But anyhow, all of that being said, hearses are on my mind. And I don't know why, but I have some of these little matchbox <laughs> 1963 Cadillac hearses sitting around. So I thought I'd tweak one, just for fun. Uh, you may recall I did a bone shaker version of this. Uh, I made a matching flower car to go with it. Uh, I don't know, I've enjoyed messing around with them. And so I've done some red wine conversions lately. And I thought, well, what the heck? Let's, let's take this matchbox and do a red wine conversion on it. And uh, it just kind of hit me that this would kind of be Pugsley Adams' safest toy. Because, you know, on the show, he had some rather extreme toys that he played with. So I thought, let's have at it. I cleaned the casting up. You know, I, I got rid of some of the uh, casting lines, cleaned up some rough areas. It, it's not a bad casting. You know? It uh, comes out of the citrus strip looking pretty good, actually. Did the usual stuff. And the one thing I knew is I was going to polish the crap out of this thing. <laughs> so <laughs> I wanted to get it cleaned up. But again, I'm trying to be like a red wine. And, you know, the, the red wines, it's not like they had a lot of detail to them. That was the problem on this build, was finding that uh, happy medium. So there's the, after the first cleanup, and it's shiny, but it's not where I want it. But uh, it's getting there. So let the sanding games begin. Sanding and polishing and then seeing what else needs to be sanded and polished again. And I think I got as fine as 3,000 grit on the sandpaper, if I remember right. I've got some foam-backed sanding uh, sandpaper. So wet sanded the heck out of it. Um, but again, it, it was finding that balance between a red wine and something that's fully detailed that gave me the problem on this one. I wasn't sure where to have it fall. And so I hope, I hope you like where I, where I stopped on the detailing in effect. Here I'm about at the second point in <laughs> sanding. And, uh, you know, I, I was thinking about, like, the one thing I knew I wanted to stand out on the sides was the Landau bars. And I was going to try something I had never done before on this. But what I, I didn't realize is I needed to sand those land. I wanted them to stand out as much as possible, so I didn't want to sand them too far, if that makes any sense. So it's easy enough for me to... to throw the red wines on here. You know, I've, I've got the bearings. I use the axles off the original matchbox casting. Just kind of cut them to size. And, you know, that, that I don't necessarily show it here, but it took uh, a few attempts at shortening it to where I wanted it to be. And, you know, I, I edited, I think, one of the, yeah, one of the cuts out of there. But, you know, you get them where you want them, where they roll, where they fit just right. It's, it's actually a really simple process. You just need to be patient and, you know, get it where you want it. And then once you have the axle with the bearings just right, then it's just a matter of popping those uh, wheels on. Those are Bright Vision wheels, in case you're curious. And again, those are the original Matchbox axles with some 3D printed bearings is all it is. It's a, a very straightforward process. You really only see the front red wines on this build. You, you barely see the back ones because of how the hearse is constructed. Now, here you see where I'm at on my final polish. 
I do wish a couple things. I wish I would have sanded the hood a little bit more. And the Landau bars, I wish I would have smoothed out a little. I went over it with the metal cast paint and I'm going to have to pause it here in a second because this is the first time I've ever tried to use a sharp knife to scratch off trim. And to be honest, at this point, my nerves were shot. I was sure I was going to ruin the paint at some point. I was sure that some of that metal cast was just going to chop off, you know, flake off or something. And I'd have to repaint the whole thing. What I wanted to do was bring out that metal from underneath and then clear coat it to get a real shiny chrome look to it. So I had to do this off camera. So that's why this is paused in case you can't really tell there. <laughs> uh, the contrast black Templar paint. It's interesting. I used it for the front grill. I've used this a couple times now. Mike Hawkins mentioned it to me as in effect a thicker null oil, which it is. It's, it's thinner than the paint, thicker than the null oil. It's kind of between the two. And so you'll see me just pop this into the grill and I'm not doing it as neatly as, as I need it. And then I just cleaned it off afterwards. Um, I clean the, the chrome areas off so that they'll show up a little bit better. And that's kind of the approach on all of the trim is I almost, in effect, I tried to paint between the lines, <laughs> but when, when it doesn't quite work that way, then I just clean the excess. Once this paint dries, you're able to just uh, rub it off, in effect, just kind of uh, with, with a toothpick, just kind of scrape it off. And then the Tamiya Clear Red for the brake lights, you, know, you can't beat that stuff. That, the, that was upside down there, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> and there you see where I've scraped the sides for the Landau bars and for the uh, door handles. I didn't scrape any other trim. I didn't want to push it, to be honest. And again, I'm trying to find that line between red lines and fully detailed. Yep, gauzy, gauzy, gauzy. This was a, uh, this thing's got a really big glass on it. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so uh, that glass needed some gauzy. And that's the gauzy fix for those of you who uh, are still playing the game, taking a shot every time you hear the word gauzy. So uh, I got a few more gauzies in here for you. I imagine some of you have uh, been missing the gauzy fix. <laughs> now here's more of that contrast paint. Um, this is a red. And uh, I wanted to do this. I used this on the seats because I wanted some detail on the seats. I didn't really detail the interior. I didn't paint the casket that's in the back that has the hand sticking out of it, uh, because you're not really going to see it. And honestly, I didn't want to call attention to it. Uh, I wanted to paint these seats. I left the black, you know, I, that interior was gray originally. I shot it black, and uh, then I went over it with this uh, red contrast paint to give it kind of a dark maroon interior for the seats. And then I wanted to do a nice shiny silver steering wheel. Just for the heck of it. <laughs> so that's about it on the interior. And I didn't do a whole lot of detail. Just trying to find that balance. Um, so that's pretty much it. You know, this, this was a fairly quick build. It was fun. I wanted to see how this thing would look in blood red how it would look polished up. And it's given me some ideas. It's given me some ideas for future builds, particularly trying that scraping, the, the, uh, the Landau bars and stuff. That, I don't know, it's kind of interesting to me how well that worked. I've always been honestly afraid to do it. I've seen other people do it quite successfully. But uh, here I go throwing it together. And uh, I'd like to, Thank Dead Sled Brand for, you know, 
putting hearses on my mind. <laughs> and you need to check them out. They've got cool stuff. You got to check out the builds. I mean, I've seen some of the builds so far and and uh, there's a couple that really just, I think it was Go-Kart Mozart won it last year, this competition with just a hell of a build. And uh, it looks like he's doing a, a pretty remarkable build again this year. He's doing a gigahertz build apparently which uh, from the pictures I've seen on Instagram so far looks absolutely amazing. And then uh, Keith has his video out, which uh, also is just a really cool build. And there's, there's a lot of people participating in this. So, you know, be sure and check them out. I believe all the builds have to be submitted by July 31st. So, uh, you know, by the time this video is out, that date has come and gone, but, uh, you know, hopefully you will uh, be able to see all of the entries now at this point. This one uh, I just did for fun and giggles. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, here's where we started. And uh, I've got a turntable shot of the finished build coming up. And again, it's uh, a quickie. I hope you like it. And... Uh, there are some glamour shots coming up after this. So everybody, uh, thanks for watching. Check out some of the other videos that uh, I have listed at the very end of this. There are links to some other videos. And uh, thanks to my Patreon members. Everybody stay safe and healthy out there. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.